It's Tuesday the 24th of December. Yes, it's finally Christmas Eve and as of today, of course, there's just one day left till Christmas. Let's get straight on with today's video. Welcome back to Karina's Christmas Countdown. We've made it all the way to Christmas Eve. Yes, that's 24th day of Vlogmas. Now you may be asking, why am I wearing this rather bizarre hat? Well, because it's Christmas Eve and I thought it would be fun and I wanted to show you this. actually moving so much it's falling off my head <laughs> anyway back to business so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how I prepare a box to give to my niece on Christmas Eve now my niece is eight years old but I've been doing these boxes with her I would say oh probably since she was about four even so it's it's quite a long-standing tradition now I'm not going to show you the entire thing from start to finish because I've actually already got the Christmas Eve box that I'm going to be using because I saved it from last year, all about the recycling. But if you are interested in seeing how you actually create a Christmas Eve box for yourself, I do have on my Instagram profile page, there's a highlight there where I show you exactly how I made the box that I'm going to be using today. So let's go and have a look and see exactly how I pack the box ready for taking over to my niece. Okay, so here we have the Christmas Eve box that I prepared last year. It's simply a cardboard box with wrapping paper done around it but so that it's made to look nice. I find is a pretty good size because it's just enough to fit a nice selection in but not too much and not too big to carry. So the next thing I'm going to do is put some tissue paper in here to make the base covered and so I can set the gifts into some tissue paper. So I shall show you as I do that. Okay, so I've got my box of tissue paper here. Let's have a look through. I'm looking for a nice big piece or maybe a couple of pieces to line the base. Okay, so I've got a selection of different tissue papers to try. I'm just going to test those out in the base of this box. I'm going to use some fairly plain white just to give a bit of depth at the bottom. Hole in it, but it doesn't matter. All about the recycling. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There's a bit of bounce, and the main thing you can see is green. So I'm pleased with that. Right. So now it's time to start filling the box. I've got a selection of things, so I'm going to walk you through what I've got. The main event. I have to move the box to show you this. The main event is this gingerbread house, Santa, sleigh and tree, cookie kit. So it's got pre-baked gingerbread, icing and uh, some candies to put on it. I got this from Costco earlier in the year. I thought it would be perfect for Christmas Eve and it looks like a pretty good set to be fair. So that is going in first. I'm going to pop that at the back. Next up, I've got this fashion portfolio book. Now bear in mind my niece is eight. When I was that age, I think I'd have loved something like this. It's kind of cool. When you open it up, it is like a ring binder type book. And at the back, just trying to do this, you can see there's this section here 
where there's lots of different swabs. I think there's different materials and stickers in there. So you can use them to decorate the images inside. So I think what a, what a cool idea is that. Okay. So that's going in next. This is called a sparkling dream catcher. I think we have to make this, whether we do this today or whether uh, my niece does it on another day, I don't know, but I thought that was quite a cute thing to put in the box. Okay. Next, what else? So I've got a couple of packs of sweeties. My niece doesn't really like chocolate very much, so I thought she'd appreciate those. Well, not just my niece, my sister and brother-in-law too. I bought some nail polish. This is red nail polish by Maybelline. Uh, she'll be using this under supervision. <laughs> I checked with my sister already that this is okay to take. So some nail polish. And the reason for getting the nail polish is that I've got some festive nail art stickers to go on the top, so we may have a go at doing that. Let's pop that in there. Then I've got these hair slides that I got earlier in the year from Primark, which I thought were really cute, and she'll like those, I think. This was just a tiny little thing. It's a fairy glider aeroplane, basically, that you make I think this was 25p from Ocado, what a bargain. So that's going in the box. I've got this book, which I think McDonald's were doing free. You had to make a request for it and we got this in the post. So the Christmas Adventures of Archie, that's going in. I've got a book here, it's got my niece's name on it. So I'm just covering that up. So it's a personalized book uh, with her name in throughout. So that's going in too. is the finished Christmas Eve box ready to take. I'm going to jump in my car now, head over there and we'll have a few hours having some fun with this before I come home for our Christmas Eve evening. And the one finishing thing that I'm going to do is just pop some tissue paper over the top so that when I get there right at the beginning there's a little bit of misty and she doesn't know exactly what's in it until she takes that tissue paper off. One after the other, knocking at the door. There, everybody's welcome the rich and the poor. Kids play on the outside in the newly fallen snow, while the grown ups all huddle up inside away from the blistering cold. Soon, Santa will be here. The same. for my day 24 Vlogmas video, and indeed for Vlogmas 2019. I really hope that you've enjoyed some of my videos and also that you're having a wonderful Christmas and I wish you all the very best for the new year and new decade, in fact, 2020. In the new year, I'll be posting regular content on personal development topics, ways to make money online. I've got some interviews coming up with some exciting people. So do be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to like this video. Also, I'd love to hear from you. If you've got any ideas for content that you'd like to see from me next year, pop it in the comments below. Just let me know that you've stopped by. Well, that is really the end. <laughs> I will say bye and see you next year.